YouTube, what is going on? Crowder here, and today we're going to be showing you, in my opinion, the three most underrated combined loadouts in Warzone Season 5. I am talking primary and secondary SMG together. Let's get into this. And here we go. We have the Holger 556 burst in our hands. And of course, we're going to be using that Vel. Now, again, these are not number one loadouts. They're not the fastest time to kill. But this gun does have a very, 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 very competitive time to kill. And in a lot of ranges, it's almost one of the best. So uh, the Vel, on the other hand, is still really good. But there's obviously, you know, with SMGs and movement and some stuff, you can obviously have some disadvantages. These off meta guns are still really good. And I know a lot of you guys that are playing this game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I don't even know what he just got hit with, but a lot of that you guys play this game don't always want to use the STG and the static every single game that you play. And there's a lot of guns that you can do that I think people ignore. So that's the point of this video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're enjoying it, like it already, because we're about to get some wins with these, hopefully. But this is going to be real stuff, too, in the sense, if I don't get the win, you're going to see... One game, everybody knows the rules everything. I'm not going to play this until I get an absolute banger lobby where no one can shoot back. I'm just going to play one game each, and hopefully we can showcase you these weapons to the best. Because either way, you can kind of tell that these weapons don't have much rec like, you know, recoil or the time to kill. You'll still understand what's going on either way. But now let's stop yapping, and uh, let's get this done. Okay. See that? Oh, my God. Oh, whoa, whoa. They're, they're talking smack. They're talking some smack right now. They're talking some smack and I interrupted and I don't feel bad at all. Advanced UAV overhead, all right. What I was gonna say is uh, I'm also gonna be talking through some situations and stuff too on like trying to get a win and hopefully how to get a win too. So there's a guy up here right now. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna reposition and try and get some high ground again because right now if he's on the roof and I go up that ladder, I'm gonna die. So I'm gonna go to a different building. A little bit of patience here and see what we get. He just got PA'd so he should have to move off this, right? Yeah, he did. That guy's not on the roof anymore. He had to have dropped inside. So I should be able to take high ground on him now. I do see a muni box. So I wanted to drop down and get more stims. Stims are really important. Guy's weak. Yep. And you can see right there when I get this kill too. I mean, that guy's just a rager. But I, the reason why I followed him in instead of chasing him in this way is because, of course, I knew that he's probably going to try and slide across. So it was a quicker way to kind of just shut him down there. But all right. Now, the thing with the Vel is that it's an underrated gun with the time to kill. And you have a good time to kill at certain ranges. It has a very good headshot multiplier as well. If you're hitting headshots, it's even better. But the big thing with this gun is that you're probably not moving as fast as you would with, like, the superior of the static, which can be annoying. But the build that I have right now is also really good when it comes to movement, too. It's not a bad movement build. All right. We get this kill. Oh, multiple people on me. I'm gonna hit the pop stim. We're popping stims. We gotta get out of here for a second. I hear a bunch of footsteps. That's why you always have extra stims like I had before. I hear footsteps over here to the left. I'm going to go cut off low left. Hopefully he's to the left here. He is. Use that Vel. I get my kill stolen. I don't like that. Oh, whoa. I did not think that was guy was going to actually keep pre that. All right, GG's. Wait. All right, I, was just, I thought he was about to play with his food. I was about to make him pay for that. But this is not a smart play to play for the win if I was doing this. All right, this guy sees me. We're out of here. I'm going to have to kind of reset. I should be able to make my way back there. I do have 6k, though. I'm gonna pick up a gun for now. I think I can beam this guy? No. Yeah, see, the problem is here is I'm gonna lay here and kind of hit the stair glitch movement. It's a little ratty, but you gotta do what you gotta do when you don't have any health, right? I'm gonna pick up these. Close the door behind me. Should be able to hit a little reset here. Use all the stuff that I can use to get an advantage in these fights. Oh, baby, I see him under me. Guy's probably gonna run back under me, though, yeah. I'm gonna hit a wrap up here. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to make this guy think he can sprint. I'm really hoping that the guy behind me over there by control is gonna help me here. Yeah, this is just not good. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing I could have done there. I, I Sometimes Warzone sucks. We're not doing a good job of showcasing anymore. We're not doing a good job of showcasing anymore, but I want my videos to be as real as they come. And I don't always have a good game every time I play. All right, fire sale. If I can get some money really quick, I'll actually be in a pretty good spot. Let's see what we can do. I think I just need, oh, I, I, there it is. I think I just have the money. We're gonna get this. We're gonna reset. We're gonna throw this down and get more stims like I was saying earlier. Get some extra plates. And of course, if you guys are liking the style of video too, let me know. Again, this is more of like a mixture between gameplay videos 
And obviously, instead of me just like copying and pasting loadouts to a YouTube video too, I want to make it kind of fun and show like the gun in real time too. Because anyone can say a gun's really good, but at the same time, I want to kind of show you what it looks like in action too in a, in a real lobby. So we're trying to do a little bit of both here. We got some kills, we got some stims, and we got a specialist. All right, we're back in action now. See, that guy seemed like a pretty... He was a sweat. He's using sweaty guns. So what I want to do is go up here and I will say we got to take this guy out. We got to take this guy out. I hear metal. Oh no, that's a, see that's a car 98k. I don't know how we're going to approach this yet. I don't want to get I don't want to get headshotted to to my death right here. And this guy's hitting good movement too. All right. I hit a dive here. Want to reposition. I'm going to reposition over here to the left. Right now the center of the circle is kind of where I'm at, but getting that rooftop control would not be bad. So that's what I'm going to go. I'm going to do this side hop right here and see if I can take rooftop control. I hear someone in here. He can be kind of anywhere. He's definitely under me, though, so I should be able to get up here pretty safe. Wait, I see some footsteps down there. I see some footsteps down there. I'm going to stow some stims. I do have specialists, so resupply will give me some stims if I'm going to hold this for a little bit. And I have a feeling I might be up here for some time. I don't know where everybody else is at on the lobby. I see a guy up there. We cracked him. Oh, my God, dude. Tell you, once you get this rhythm down, this gun is insane. All right, I hear metal walking now. Guy sounds like he's out here. I see his footsteps. He wants me to come down. Now we're going to do that. We'll do that any day when he's asking me for that because that is just way too easy of a gunfight after I did all that damage. I don't see anything out here. Nothing's low left yet. They can definitely be low left. Two bursts and that guy's already cracked. Ladder over here. Like I said, listen for the sound cues. Easy kill. Take him out. We know where one guy is. We're looking for one more guy where I don't know where he is. Oh, they're fighting. And that's a one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't get an assist, so the guy I just made really weak is one shot. So I could push him if I want to, but I also don't have to. This guy is sniping, and this is, seems like a pretty sweaty player. I do have a self revive, so I can technically go down here once, and he probably wouldn't be able to kill me. But what I'm going to do is kind of play this smart and keep using this. Again, when you're playing this right now, all you want to do is like pop up and shoulder peek. If he gets that kill, you don't want to give him more than a half a second to shoot you. And keep changing your positions. Eventually, I'll catch him scamming. All right, he's under me. We are good to go. Also, if I don't get this kill with the final kill, I also can do a stim play here if I wanted to, too. But I still have the high ground. And with that being said, I can hold this. And when he's out in the middle of the field, he's going to smoke. I'm going to try and live ping him before I shoot. He can also play under me, too, which wouldn't be a bad play out of him. If he plays under me, I want to jump there. I can also jump in and use my stim that way. We got to try and stop. All right, so he's second floor. He's second floor here. Now, if he wants to, he can try and ego chow that angle if he wants to. But I'm going to wait and see. I'm just listening for his footsteps right now. Now, if I want, I can probably run away and win this with a heal off. But I don't know if that's the play either. I'm going to keep out my SMG here for this kind of this range fight. All right, I should be able to win this if I wanted to heal off. I can also play this in the sense of just doing that. And just like that. IQ, positioning, underrated guns, win number one. And for the Holger 556, these are the exact attachments we're rocking with the Jack Signal Burst Conversion Kit. Now, if you look at the stats really quick, you can see that the bullet velocity is 1,000, which is really good. The effective damage range, which is that first time to kill a threshold, is 36 meters on something like Rebirth. That is perfect and really, really good, and it holds its range all the way with the bullet velocity. I think this is a very underrated weapon that people should try to use more and let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think too if I'm missing any of these underrated weapons in this video. And of course, going over to the Vel, the big thing with the Vel is the headshots, the time to kill are within the meta. And if you use this exact build, you can see on the right side here, tactical sprint speed is at a 7.3. That's not like the superior in the static, but it is definitely on par where you can get away with it. And it's something that again, if you wanna change it up, I do think this gun is underrated and not used enough. So that being said, these guns are really good. These are the underrated weapons number one when it comes to just primary and SMGs. We got two more classes to show you guys, which means four more different weapons. Let's get into the next guns. And here we go. Guns number two and four, three and four. Technically, the loadout is going to be the BP SMG, which this thing, when you look at the stats, it actually is very, very good when it comes to the time to kill and all the subs. The one thing I would say about this gun is the movement's not as good as obviously some of the other SMGs anymore like it used to be. But this thing is a really good shout. It has basically no recoil and it is absolutely within the meta and also just underrated in general so 
Gonna get this kill and kind of go from there. Now, when you're looking at the MD at 13 before you guys go crazy on me, again, this is not a video of the best loadouts in the game. This is a video of the most underrated where you could still use them like I stated in the first play, uh, gameplay. I just got shit on right there. Loki, I just probably didn't hit my movement there. I should have got that kill. I just was not paying attention. So we're gonna lock in and let's go. Let's see if we can get three wins in a row for this vid too. And before anyone ever also states it, I am in different clothes. This is a different game, but this is the second game for this video. I haven't obviously used these guns more than once. So one gun, uh, one gun, one game. Everybody know the rules. Let's go. Is that a guy right there? He is. And with this M13 as well, the M13 is 100% um, usable. And it's it, it's a pretty good gun. It's underrated with the new Quartermaster as well. It doesn't have that bad of a recoil control. You can see it's very easy to shoot. So it's a fun weapon to use. But I will say the weapon, uh, the TTK drop off on this gun can get a little bit weird. So I would say this is not a big map build as much as this is something that you kind of like really need to use on a... Rebirth, obviously, so you got to be very careful of what map you use this gun on specifically. But still, you can see right there, you can still very easily get kills and do good with it. And honestly, if you just like using the older guns too, kind of slam some people with the older guns. That's what you want to do right there. Why is this guy asking me to team? I don't want to team with you, dude. Oh, no, I don't. All right. Here, here, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to team. I want to team, bro. We're not teaming in the video, bro. We're not cheating. Come on now. Come on. Get that guy out of my lobby. This guy needs to go. Yep. Just as easy as that. Oh. Oh, no. Yep. I'm so happy I'm not using my rebirth class right now because I was able to kill that guy. Love it. I love it. I love it. Load up here. We have our stims. We have everything that we need. Oh, wait. Is this guy here? Oh, what is it? This is the riot shield guy, right? All right. Let's, let's apply pre some, some pressure here. Hopefully, we don't get third partied. Oh, shit. The quad made me lose aim assist right there. I was looking ugly. There's only 11 people left already? What, what, gun, what game am I playing? We got this guy on skates right now. He's running away. You're running away from an M13, brother. Here we go. Come on now. Who are you using? What gun? The STG? Ah, he's using all the meta weapons too. Alrighty. Self-revive. UAV. A little bit of a mortar strike. Probably should have got a gas mask there, but it's not the end of the world. Get some big game bounties here too. Hold up. I feel like I don't see these on Rebirth too much. Am I tripping? I could be just tripping. I think I am tripping. All right, there's a guy here footsteps in front of me. Hold up. Yep, we gotta take this guy out. Same guy again. Using those sweat weapons, not gonna get it done. I'm gonna buy a gas mask and a muni box as well because that is exactly what I'll need for the end game. Wait. This guy's landing here again one more time. This guy's using sweat weapons. I kind of want to take him out. What's the chances this guy leaves? We're camping it. All right, we're gonna let him live. Instead of pushing him like a maniac, I don't think it's worth it. What we're going to do is we're going to try and take some prison control. What I'm going to do here as well is I'm going to do the zip line so I can get there smoothly. So I'm going to hit jump. Now, hold forward on the left stick, and then boom. A nice smooth, smooth. Oh. Nice smooth uh, zip line is what I was going to say. All right, this is not good now. There's a guy left too. I'm going to have to reposition here. That's not the best spot to be on, especially because I hear someone to my left. Alright, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna jump up here. Jump forward. Ooh! Slam them, baby! Oh, a zip line. I just heard a zip line. So what I'm gonna do here is get some cover. Oh, I'm taking some shots. Nice shots out of this guy. I do have a mortar strike if I get like put in a weird spot. I'm gonna mount up here. Oh. Mount up. Probably make him scramble. Try and use that specialist strong arm throwing uh, throwing thermite here. Oh, okay. All right, we got to make sure we get a full plate here before I challenge again. I can't let him stop hitting my healing. All right, we're going to pop up now. Going to have to keep using this cover. Shouldn't be able to hit him with that. Nope. We got him on the back foot. Dead. All right. We're good now. All right, so we're going to live ping that guy for now. Let's analyze this map. High ground's gonna be, like, up here. This corner right here, there's a wall there. I can use that as a head glitch. That's what I want to control. So what I'm gonna do... 
is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to buy a bunch of muni boxes just in case I have to do a heal off. And then we're going to go from there. But I do think there's a guy under me. I'm going to eat the gas with this gas mask. And I'm going to buy another one right there as well. Making sure I don't see anything under me really quick. All right. It looks clear. We're going down. Another one. One, two, three. All that. We're going to leave those there. And we are good. All right. So. I don't know if we're safe here. We're going to see if we're safe here first. If we're not safe, we can just drop down to the wall like I was talking about. Play this a little bit smarter. All right, we're not safe here. So, like I said, I'm going to stay up high ground here. This guy to the left is now going to have the farthest rotation, so we're going to try and focus him. We're going to try and focus him. It looks like he's right there. You got gas he is. I'm going to throw some thermites with the strong arm. Got that guy on fire a little bit. I will get combat scout if I hit this guy because of what I was saying. And we should be able to hold high ground here. So I'm going to take this up. Hold this high ground. This guy could try to do that hop up on me too, but I think we should be fine. I don't want him to like work up those stairs and then obviously have the high ground on me. Play this smart. Realistically speaking, I should go up there if I can. See if this guy's smart enough to do the play he should do. Let's see. I got the kill. No! Ooh, we're good. We're good. I'm gonna pop a stim. We're gonna hit the slide on him. And GG's. Let's go, baby. Another W with some underrated weapons. And I will say this. The M13 is, of course, probably the worst one out of the ones I'm about to show you as primaries. But it's still just very fun to use. And you can still definitely get some kills with it on Rebirth. Now, if you're using Vondel Big Map, that's where it can get a, bit, a little bit weird. But let's show you these attachments and move on to the next guns. And here we are. This is the M13. The Quartermaster Suppressor and the High Velocity is going to give it a very good bullet velocity uh, for, for the M13. Considering when you didn't have the High Velocity before, it was really bad. That was kind of why it was almost useless. It's kind of back into fruition where you want to kind of force this gun and have some fun with this especially if you're an m13 lover from back in the day and then of course the high velocity and these are the attachments it's nothing too crazy but i am saving the best gun probably out of all these four last in these last couple of loadouts going over to the bp right here i am going to be showing you that again and this time the kill is very very good with the smg revenger kit on it which is the conversion kit and then all of these attachments if you look at some of the stats here big things to really kind of know is that it has 102 sprint to fire speed which isn't Better than some SMGs, but it is still pretty good. The time to kill is pretty good. And just overall, it's very, very, very easy to shoot, in my opinion, especially when you now have the Quartermaster. So those are the loadouts for the second underrated weapons that I was going to show you. And now we have two more to show you. And I think this one is probably the best one out of them all. Let's go. All right. And we're starting this one early. Don't even need to get our own loadout. Here we go. What I was going to do is get this key card and go for the loadout. We'll still try and do that for a second one. But the guns we're going to be using for the final game and the last two guns is the MCW and it's going to be in tax stance. This gun is what I'm telling you is probably the best gun out of the six that I just showed you guys. And I'm not lying. I have vouches from Teep and other people. The time to kill on this gun is better than the static and the superior. If you hit your shots and it is not hard to hit the shots, you don't have to be a good aimer with the MCW. And of course, oh my God, I'm going to blow up. I'm going to blow up. I'm going to blow up. I'm, I'm out of here. Hold up. Hold up. Oh my God. We got to stay alive. And the other gun's gonna be the STB, the intro to the STB. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I love this weapon. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there, guys. Right there, slamming gets slammed by the MCW. And you don't even have to be that good with this gun. And the build that has this is actually pretty good sprint to fire speed. And the reason why I didn't like the MCW beforehand, it felt clunky. This one feels smooth. So let's go in here. Let's get some business done. Then let me talk to you a little bit about the STB too, because again, there's going to be some of you guys that are new to this. And if you are still watching this video, by the way, again, obviously drop a like, but I'm going to provide you guys a bonus loadout that is also underrated that I won't be using in this one, but I will just give you one extra primary loadout that is also pretty good. So here we go. We got this, the STB, and I'm trying a different build on this STB, uh, but the gun overall, again, super underrated. The time to kill is really good. It's 100% in that meta, and it is just very fun. I would say this is probably... 
Ah, this this thing is the real deal. But hold up. What we're going to do here is we're going to pop a stim. Someone's running behind me. I'm going to have to take this challenge. Then we're going to... Oh! oh, my God. This guy should chase me. And I really want him to chase me. Because if he does, he's going to go down. But yeah, dude. This uh, STB again. Especially on this map. Uh, it's better for a solo gun because it doesn't have too much ammunition. But in general, it is really good when it comes to the... Uh, time to kill and just reliability of this weapon and the build that i have right now that i'm trying still feels pretty controllable and it has good bullet velocity as well so let's keep our money high here especially if we're playing more for the win i want to buy that specialist when fire cell hits too so what i'm going to do is try and keep this as you know money lucrative as possible and all right let's go we have a portable buy that will actually come in handy as well I'm gonna drop that. We don't need that second self revive, especially in rebirth. We're good. We're, it's all good. Yeah. This gun, if you're a little bit more uh, of a grinder, the build that I'm using that I'll show you at the end, still super controllable, and the bullet velocity on it is nuts, and the range on the damage range is really good too. So I think we've cooked up something even better just for this video alone. I don't want to spend too much money, so I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid buying a balloon. I could buy a balloon right now and kind of rotate the top prison. I really don't think that's worth it. What is this guy doing? Instant crack. We take that for sure. Oh, whoa, whoa. That guy's actually ego challenging that? No way. No way. What a shot. I can't believe that guy actually hit that shot. We might have a fight on our hands. I don't think I've ever driven a car, like, in Rebirth, like, seriously. I kind of want to try it. But I also kind of want to win. But I kind of want to... We're going to go for it. No way he snipes me, right? I'm out. I'm going to go to this balloon down to the right and use the balloon to take top prison. Switch sides, get out here. Now the balloon must have been shot down over here, but I think it does pop up again, so. I hear some footsteps near me. This guy just went up top. He just opened that door. We heard that door slam. Easy money, baby. Easy money. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. We don't need a balloon. We're gonna go here. The old-fashioned way. We're gonna hit the gondola. Never mind. No. 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 Don't take off. Don't leave without me, please. Just want to go on the ski trip. All right, we're good. I'm going to look to the left first. I don't see anything. I see a guy over there. I don't see anything else over there. All right, so we're going to try and flank this guy if we can. See how aware this guy is. If he has high alert, too, it might be hard to do so. I say, I just heard footsteps behind me. Yep, I'm a hacker, guys. The STB kills so fast, I'm a hacker. I'm going to look up here. That guy just got sniped. We just saw that guy get taken out big time. We're going to take that guy out again. Fuck you, bitch. A little offended there. A little offended there. This guy got sniped, which means the sniper's probably pretty good. What is going on? What is going on here, guys? I don't want to pressure this guy. This guy's a pretty good sniper. I see a laser. Yeah, I'll say... I, th I saw a laser hitting that wall. It has to be from behind me. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I'm dead. GG's. Nice shots. I don't know if this guy's going to let me live, but we're going to go. We're out. We're popping a stim. We're popping plates. Yeah, they're fighting up top again. We're good. I think I'm going to be able to rewrap the zip line. Bro, this STB is so smooth. Fire sale's active. active. That's exactly what I was looking for. By the specialist. A self revive. A UAV. And a mortar strike. Enemies are dropping into the area. Watch the sky. Oh, whoa, whoa. Pop it a stim because I have no health. Guy's landing over here. A little shoulder peek. I have a really good head glitch here. I should be able to chow this guy. Oh, I see him laying down. What is this guy doing? Couch up. Keep an eye on this. Oh my god. Even from that range, this gun still is able to connect. We're getting bunker busted on. We're getting busted on. Not everywhere what we wanted to do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mortar strike this top. I'm gonna go like this, call a UAV in, get another mortar strike. I hear footsteps near me again. I'm gonna wait to see where it was. All right, he's at the right here. Might try and use this buy station. He might try and use this buy station. Let's see. I don't know what he's doing. He's definitely not up top. He's under me. There we go. We take him out. Oh. What is this guy doing? This guy's landing here again? No way, Joel. No way. Not today. 
Right now we're just playing off of minimap info. Minimap info and streaks, to be honest. I'm gonna mortar strike that again. Buy another mortar strike. And I really wanna eventually get up there if I can. Let's see if this guy peeks me. Oh. Someone just looked at the dude to my left. This is just getting crazy right now, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we're not letting that guy land. Not today. I stowed the wrong things, by the way. Oh, no. I stowed the wrong things. This will come in handy as well for gas plays. Screw it. We've been trying to get up top as much as we can, but it's not really working. <laughs> any stims over here? I don't see any stims. There we go. Stims. We can stow some stims there. I want to say... Buy one more muni. I hear someone right next to me. We're going to hit the a slide on this. Not going to be able to take me out, dude. And that's a static as well, dude. I'm telling you, this gun has a faster time to kill than the static. And you don't even have to be that good at aiming because of the fact that you're tax dancing on it, dude. I'm telling you, this is the build. Jump here, hold forward. That guy's shooting under. We have high ground right now, so we're not in a bad spot. I wish I had a better durable mask, but... My God, he might try and wrap up top here. This is where we want to be, though. All right, it sounds like his footsteps are running away. Oh, that's a guy on the roof right there. We all saw that. We all saw that. I'm going to take the fight close here. Back up, head glitch to head glitch. He jumps off. All right. I hit him with one bullet of the STB and he ran away, dude. That is wild. Make sure this guy's not doing exactly what I was just saying. What did I tell you, guys? What did I tell you? You got to have that awareness on point. You can go up this ladder too. Yeah, we're not we're not doing that. We heard every single step you took on that ladder, buddy. No way. Not today. There could be someone playing that staircase for height. And there's someone shooting down there. If there's only two people in there shooting, it should be at each other. We should be clear to take this high ground and go from there. There you go. There we go. Try and hit some thermites. We got them on fire. And they have to rotate to me. I love this. We're going to test the tax stance from this far to show you guys how good the tax stance can be. That is about 30 meters away, by the way. Unbelievable. If I lose this game, testing out tax stance, I blame you guys. Not really. Bro. This is crazy. And there it is. Three games with three different underrated loadouts and three wins. Let's freaking go. Look at it again one last time. I'm telling you, this is an underrated loadout, but this also might be meta. No, no BS. So yes, here is the STB again. The time to kill and everything you just saw. A very controllable weapon. It is very good. And what I was telling you about a different way to build it is, realistically speaking, I have the bullet velocity at 1,000 and the damage range at 42, which is that first effective damage range with the SVB. It is pretty good. And you're still kind of being able to control it with the recoil. Now, realistically speaking, you can take off the high grain, which would take off some of that and put on like the Bruin heavy grip. And if you do that, you still have an 874 on something like Rebirth. Very, very good. And just in general, if you shoot this thing, talk about even easier to shoot. I mean, it is the easiest gun ever to shoot. So you can realistically build this a couple ways. Or if you don't like the high grain, but you want the bullet velocity, you can throw on high velocity and get it all the way to 1049. But that does hurt your range a little bit. Either way, a bunch of different ways to build this one. And of course, what I was rocking was not the underground, uh, the underbarrel there, but the high grain. And then moving on to the meta MCW, aka the underrated MCW. I don't know what we're calling this one, but it's definitely worth a shout is these attachments right here with the conversion kit, 40 round mag, the laser, the razor hawk, la the razor hawk laser, orchestra barrel, and then of course the bastion and angled grip if you look at this really quickly guys this short heavy barrel gives you 47 percent tax stance and it is that is why this thing is so insane you have an effective damage range all the way up to 20 with is that's better than every smg so basically you have the longest range smg ever the 145 sprint to fire speed is not the best but with how good this thing is and all the benefits and perks from it, it is still pretty good. And then the tactical sprint speed is obviously not as fast as the sub, but 7.1 is still pretty damn fast when you're using stims as well. So again, one of my favorite builds right now in the game, just in general. And I'm going to give you guys this bonus build, and then I'm going to leave you guys to your day. And yes, here is the bonus build that I will rock with you guys. I'll show you a different, a couple different ways to build it really quick. But this one, specifically the SOA Subverter, uh, I don't see a lot of people picking it right now, but this gun has the time to kill and the range, and it is still pretty damn good, especially on Resurgence at that medium range. 
And if you just want to see what it looks like when I'm shooting this, of course, you're going to have a pretty controllable gun. It's not going to be the best controllable when it comes to recoil, but with the Quartermaster, it helps it a little bit. And of course, if you want to take off the high grain and you obviously want to throw on an underbarrel like the Bruin Heavy, it's going to help that horizontal recoil that it has. And you still have 850 meters, which is still good. And then, of course, even if you don't want to do that, you can take off the Bruin Heavy, which is going to help you with 8% horizontal. And I think that is the problem with this gun is you can also throw on high velocity instead of the high grain. Or again, you can throw on the stock which is going to slow you down a little bit with sprint to fire, which doesn't matter when you're using a primary and then obviously ADS, but you'll get a little bit more recoil and it'll shoot something like this. So there's a couple of different ways to build this depending on what you want to build. This is like the slower build, but it's much easier to control. And this is probably the problem with the gun of why people stopped using it. It has that weird recoil with the new attachments. It's still pretty good. Again, flying under the radar, definitely usable, especially by some of the top players. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'll start making more like this, that it's not always super sweaty metas as it's just other stuff we can use and have some fun in Warzone because I think we're all trying to have some fun. And sometimes we succeed and uh, a lot of times not, but either way, like, comment, subscribe on the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.